Here we are, no one's here. So I'm singing, I'm singing to myself. <sighs> because YouTube never tells anyone when I go live. Not for at least 15 or so minutes. So here I am on my own. How long before somebody comes here? <laughs> this is embarrassing. I hope it's soon. Uh, hello, if you're watching the replay. How is everybody doing? Anybody? Well, I just thought I would come here today. Maybe I should have just filmed a regular video seeing nobody's online. I thought I would come and show you what I got from the thrift store today. They were having 30% off. Um, they called it, well, it was accessories, fabric, no. One person, uh, Wendy, Amy, welcome. How's it going? Uh, they were having a sale, 30% off home and bath, bed and bath. See eight people all of a sudden. Uh, yeah, so bed and bath, clothing and accessories. So I decided to go and see if there was anything I wanted. Fabric at that thrift store is considered bed and bath. So... Hi, Eric. Hi, Ashleen. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Ava. Um, yeah, I figured I'd go and see if there was anything that I wanted. So, that I could use for projects for the channel. Hey, Popfly guys! How are you? Did you see what I did? Uh, the short I just put up today on, um, more ideas for yarn storage. I hung some like really pretty, let me see if I can show you. I hung some like decorative hooks and hung some hanks from them. Hello, Gordon Cooper. That was my creative idea that I had forever ago and I've had the hooks and I just never Um, thanks. I just never hung them up. So now they're hung up. Now they're hung up. Hi, Fresh Take. Hi, Whitney. It's so nice to see you. I hope things are going good at the new school. Oh, if you just got here, please click the thumbs up if you want. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Whitney. Um, yeah. Sometimes I don't know what to do with people uh, in the comments where it's like, that's a lot of topic right there. You're not my supervisor. I still click the thumbs up. Thanks, Martin. How are you doing? Recovering from a mild cold. Well, I hope you feel better soon. Hi, Philip. Okay. So... I didn't get a lot at the store. Um, I just looked through, I looked through the fabric. The yarn is not, they didn't really have any yarn anyway, but the yarn that they had was not great uh, at the thrift store today. And it wasn't covered under my 30% coupon. Can we steal the idea of overhead yarn storage? Yes. This is not my idea. It's, it is not new. Um, let's talk about it for a second. It's, I don't think it's a new idea, right? I mean, everyone has seen people use these basket buckets, baskets, no, wood crates. These are wood crates from the craft store. If you wait and get them on a very good sale, you can get them between seven and $8, depending on where you're going, what your coupon is, whatever. 
All I did was screw them into the wall. Um, I didn't really worry about studs because they, well, basically I screwed in where I needed to and then like kind of hung them on the wall. Uh, there's nothing is ever going to go in them that's heavier than the yarn. So I just figured it's not a big deal. Um, thanks, Eric. I'm happy to have you here. What if I was like, I don't really like yarn either, but that's my life. No, I do like it. Um, yeah, so I think there are seven of them hung up, hung up on the wall. And uh, please steal it. Lots of people have them. Um, you don't have to hang them. You could just use them as like um, cubicles and stack them. Um I think they'd be really pretty if you like did them like sideways a bit. That would be really cool if you did like a diamond kind of thing. Hi, Pastor Dean. And you like the bunny ears on Maud? Why, thank you. There she is. Oregano oil. Is that good for a cold? Thank you for letting me know. Couldn't yarn be heavy if you have enough of it? It could be, sure. Uh, but from what fits in that container, it's not heavy enough to fall off the wall. So, yeah. I, I don't think I have to worry about it. And uh, I haven't had a single issue with it so far. Um... I do have to stand up on a chair or on the couch to reach it, but I was running out of room to store yarn and I really wanted to have a way to display it that I could also, I need a cup of coffee or something, guys. I don't know. I'm feeling a little sleepy. Um, I wanted a way that I could see what I had. I also need to go through, I have a whole another cabinet of yarn that I need to go through and organize. I just need to organize everything. I'm in like that spring cleaning mindset right now. They look pretty full. They are so full. Hi, Mackenzie. How are you? So yeah, I would definitely suggest that. Um, I needed a yarn solution. I also, because I have the cabinet, which you can see behind a lot of my videos, mm -hmm. I also have this, which you could see behind videos. Uh, yeah, so I love the rainbow yarn. I'm good, what about you? I'm good. I feel too exhausted to do spring cleaning. I don't know how to get rid of this exhaust. Girl, yeah, or whatever you go by but I'm assuming girl, I shouldn't assume. But what I will say is, yeah, I completely understand that. I, uh, I always tell people, you know, just wait until you feel like you can clean. And when you have that feeling, take advantage of it and just clean, clean, clean while you still have the feeling. Right now, for some reason, I've been feeling like got to clean, clean, clean. Um, I have so much that I'd like to get accomplished as far as cleaning. Uh, I want to do some knitting. I can only do for small doses as my hand gets sore. Uh, that's why I learned to crochet. I uh, first learned to knit when I was younger. And then as I, um, I just could never get super comfortable with it. And I could never do continental and go fast. So, um, I kind of would go through phases and then this last time I did some knitting, um, that's when I was invited to join a craft group with friends. They would, um, craft together on, uh, discord. So we would meet up, um, Fridays or Saturdays. And that's when I decided to learn to crochet cause they were all very encouraging. Is it difficult to learn to crochet? No. What is difficult is getting the muscle memories in your hands. I don't know if the paw ply guys are still here. Um, they're such sweet people. 
Um, I wonder if he would agree with me. When you were learning to crochet, what, what was the hardest part for you? Maybe people can tell us in the comments. Um, yeah, for me, it was uh, learning, getting the muscle memory down. That's kind of the hardest. Angela, crochet is very easy. I yeah, I would agree. Once you once you have the first few motions down, you could do anything you want. But the problem is, um, getting comfortable holding the yarn, holding the project. I failed at the granny square. I think a granny square is trickier than some people might think. Position positioning your fingers correctly. Yes. Getting the sides even was hard in the beginning. Yes, because you either miss the stitch or put too many in. So yeah, I was there too. 28 people. It's nice to see everyone. If you have a spare minute, click the like. Uh, yeah, so that's what I did today. Uh, you may have noticed I haven't really... Um, I didn't, I haven't had a video out this week. Like usually I'll have like a podcast or something, but I just was doing a lot of like business housekeeping this week. Um, and literal housekeeping. So I, I, and I've been feeling a, a bit behind, so I'm just pacing myself. So thank you for understanding. Uh, let's see. I couldn't find the right thread to loop. I understand. I learned from YouTube and had to find a video that showed hands. Yes. Uh, Ashley, and if you ever decide to try again, I would suggest a U YouTube videos for absolute beginners that go super, super, super slow. That's how I learned. Magic circle always gives me trouble. Yes. I always have to remember it's I shouldn't be holding my hand like that on because it looks like uh anyway uh the way i always have to remember it's like tail in the front first but yeah it's that one's tricky here's a quandary i ask people who do yarn i feel the feel of yarn triggers sensory issues with me but i want to knit and crochet what would you suggest that I do to alleviate the sensory issues? Is it the, like, for example, you might want to try. I'm, this is not, not sponsored. <laughs> um, and I got this kit that I need to do uh, from the thrift store. So the, the woobles, um, the thread that comes with or the yarn is more like a t-shirty tube that might be better for you that might be something to try um something that's not as like fuzzy or um maybe like the tube yarn would be better hello comic dog I'm lagging a bit, or is it just that I'm... Sorry if I'm lagging a bit. Poppy video. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why that would be. The connection, hmm. the fiber getting snagged in my skin sets me way off. I could see that. T-shirt yarn, Martin. Yeah, that might be good, right? For somebody with um, sensory issues, that might be a little bit better or different. Blame the eclipse. I've never had a lag on my live stream, so my bad. If it's that bad, maybe we should just end it.
Oh, the earthquake. I heard all about the earthquake on the East Coast. So what is, what is it? Is it the eclipse? Is it the earthquake? Is it the cicadas? What is it? I'm on the West Coast, so there, there are no strangers to earthquakes. So, <sighs> friends, uh, let me show you what I got at the store. I ended up not getting any fabric. There was nothing there that I liked. I did end up getting um, a few things in the like bedding department. So the first thing, I got two pillowcases. And they seem to be homemade. Well, this one does anyway. Got like a quilting thing going on. Hey, Nisi, it's nice to see you. So I thought this would be really cute for like a summer top because it's got like an orange. Um, well, it looks like these were meant to be quilt squares and they didn't cut them out. But I thought that would be really cute. Um, like a, a cute little summer print top. Yes. So this was a homemade, let's see if I can prove it. Yep. This is a homemade pillowcase. Instead of using a serger on the inside, they've used a um, zigzag stitch to serge it, serge it, and then a regular stitch. So I thought that would be a cute little top. And then I guess I was in a quilty, hello Mackenzie, welcome back. Then I guess I was in a quilty looking mood because I found this pillowcase, which is not homemade. It's from a company called Canon, 100% cotton. Wouldn't that make like the prettiest summer top? Like it look really pretty. Do, 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 do. So that's the other pillowcase that I picked up today. Right? I love that it already has the print on it. And I love the ditzy floral next to a plaid. I thought that would be such a pretty top. Thanks, Nisi. If you guys haven't followed Nisi yet, who's in the comments and is one of my mods, she has a wonderful YouTube channel. And uh, she's a, a good and supportive friend, and I appreciate her. So those are the two pillowcases I got. It should be enough to make like a sum summer tops. I was thinking like summer tanks. All right. Um, what should I show you next? This was in the children's bedding section. And it seems clean, but has some stains on it. So I'll have to like cut around them. Here, it's very, very unique. It is, I think it was meant to be, I don't think there's holes in it, so I don't think it's a duvet cover. Oh, here it is, there is a hole in it. So it's a, a little duvet cover for a child's blanket. But the fabric, is all different squirrels okay my so i i'm like i have an affinity for squirrels because my um mother always says my nuts about you <laughs> it's 
So like they're really the squirrels, my mom and dad. So they're all different squirrels doing different things. Like a mama squirrel carrying her babies back to the tree, feeding the babies. Uh, being a nurse. Winter squirrels. Look at this one is like a squirrel on top of a tree. And then the arrow is the bigger blow up of the squirrel eating. A squirrel singing to its babies in bed. Just like a bizarre um, mix of things. But I, I don't know. I was very a attracted to the fabric. Look, then we got some mushrooms and a red squirrel. Some flowers, a pine cone. I'm into that. I thought it could be, um, I don't know. I, I see these um, these girls on Instagram. Maybe I too. I just haven't seen them yet. Um, I've seen them making like uh, outfits out of like cute kids um, sheets. Especially ones from like the 90s and, and things. So uh, I thought this could even be good uh, for like a bag liner. Just a bizarre group, though. Here are two little squirrels eating next to one another. <laughs> like, why? Who made this print? I have so many questions. Oh, here's here's a squirrel gathering mushrooms. As a squirrel should. So, yeah, it's pretty big. Big enough to make anything I would want out of it. I like all the different kinds of squirrels too. Oh, look, here's the tree, all full of the nuts for the winter. So cute. Um, and finally, this is a homemade tablecloth, I think. Um, made of vintage fabric. I'm thinking 70s. And I think that it's printed fabric. You can tell it's homemade by the way that it's uh, stitched. It's zigzag stitched. The stitches are not perfect whatsoever. Um, this None of the seams are finished or anything. So it's pretty big. I think it's block printed, honestly. However, I could be wrong. So let me show you. It's beautiful. What am I? What, do you, what are we showing you? So it's really pretty. I think it's block printed floral. got some daisies. Uh, that looks like a peony, tulip, or a poppy. And then this looks like some sort of like foxglove or something. Oh, there's a butterfly on it. I didn't even see the butterfly. I just thought this would be the cutest like um, the red floral, isn't it pretty? Uh, yeah, so I can't exactly tell. I don't know, I think I can tell by the white that it is block printed. But it's a huge, like, big old, let's see, it just keeps getting bigger. Isn't it gorgeous? I just thought that would be such a pretty like wrap dress or something for summer. 
all of that fabric. I wonder if it was a sheet at one time. It's definitely rounded, so it's definitely not a sheet now. Right, Ava? It is really pretty. How it's so gorgeous. And like, um, the colors are unexpected for a floral, I think. Like they're very 70s colors for a floral. The fabric feels nice, like you could wear it. So yeah, that's the other thing that I got at the 30% off home and bath and bath at the thrift store. I was looking for different fabrics to add to the collection of things I'm going to make. Uh, because I don't know, um, I haven't shown it on my channel yet, actually, but, um, you know, I've been saving, um, to invest into, um, back into the business and get myself my own sewing machine because I've been using my friends for almost four years now. And now I can go back to her and invest in a, um, a serger and overlocker. I had, I have one that I'm probably going to sell that is from like the sixties and it, it works ish. It works for a few feet before it like gets all jumbled up and maybe a person who has more experience or likes using older, it'll work forever. I'm sure it's just really hard to get it like I can't do a project and just sit down and do a project it it like constantly needs to be rethreaded and it's like has a mind of its own so I think maybe somebody else will be able to use it better than me so I got a new serger so I'm going to be able to start really pumping out some uh some clothes for myself and that has always been a goal for me to do on this channel the goal of my life is to make my own clothes. I've been sewing on and off since I was a little and I always loved it. And I always would like do thrift flips and all of these things. And now I'm going to be able to share them with everybody. So I'm excited about that. That's the news there. So yeah, I think this is probably my favorite just because it's so gorgeous. I'm still trying to figure out, yeah, maybe it was a sheet at one time because it's cut into an oval, okay? But then up on the top, there's like a random seam, which tells me that this might have been the top of the sheet. Regardless, it sure is pretty. Really, really pretty. Yes. So I got the flowers, the squirrels, and then the two pillowcases. They're so soft. Hey, Jenna. What does a serger do? Uh, I bet you know what a serger does, um, Eric, and you didn't even know it. So if you look inside any of your clothing, you'll see what a serger has done. So you know when like you see the seams of your clothing and there's like that in the seam, there's um, there's like a line of straight stitches, but then on top of the seam, it's the, the stitching that goes back and forth and encloses the seam. Um, Ava, I hope not i don't know who that is <laughs> um so yeah it closes the seam as you sew it through and it also cut off any of the extra fabric so that way when you 
um, washer where your fabric doesn't start fraying. The squirrels are really cute. Actually, I um, saw them the other day and I did not get them. But after 30% off, I thought worth it. Um, the other thing I almost got was Kids Pottery Barn Star Wars Quilt. Originally sold for a lot of money on Kids Pottery Barn because, you know, Kids Pottery Barn. But it was like beautifully quilted um, X-Wing fighter uh, shooting at is it a TIE fighter. Is that what it's called? Anyway, I decided it was just too thick and I have too many projects. So I did not get that quilt. But that's one of the things I almost got. I'm becoming better at not taking, I need to be more discerning with what I bring in because there's an abundance of creative materials. Anyone here working on any crafts or anything? Any goals for the spring and summer? I think I need some more iced tea. I left it. 26 people. Did I like drop off and, and it didn't tell me? Did it like cut off? Or is everyone, 35 people. Well, thanks YouTube. Yeah, Whitney, that's like a big part of having kids, right? Going through their clothes and taking out what doesn't fit anymore. You have a, what's an S-A-L? Is it like a shawl along? Something like that? Stitch along, stitch along. I bet it's a stitch along, like cross stitch. I'm a little choppy still. I'm so sorry, Gemma. I guess I'll get off in a minute and um, just say I'm sorry that I'm choppy today. I'm not usually choppy, right? That's not a normal thing on the channel. But that's what I've been hearing. Um, seems like I have good connection, so. Uh, I really want to make YouTube comic book videos, but I'm scared to start. Same past the inertia is my springish goal. Yeah, my suggestion is just start. Super choppy, but it's washable. Watchable, not washable. What a bummer, guys. I am so sorry. Uh, comic dog, my advice is just to get started. Your first episode, you might you might hate it, but at least you did it, and that's far, farther than most people ever get, right? Right. What would the comic be about? You think? Well, I guess I guess if the um you said the audio is fine, but the video is choppy, that is very strange. Um, so I guess I I showed you everything I wanted to show you. That was my score. That was my crafty thing that happened today. So I guess, I guess I'll say, I'll bid you adieu. The first one I want to do is about Frankenstein. Well, then you know, um, you know, I'm going to like that. Gotta start some way, somewhere, start badly. Yeah. I, my first video stunk. Audio is strange too. Okay, well, I'll, I'll head out then, guys. I'm sorry that this is so weird. 
my channel name is a theme. Oh, well, that's awesome. That sounds really cool. There's a lot of subject matter there. Okay, guys. Um, I'll get out of your hair. Sorry that to cut everything so short. Um, sorry about the bad streaming quality and the bad audio and the bad video. It's never been a problem before. So take care, Whitney. Thank you for coming on and doing some moderating for me. I appreciate it. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.